step into my office. Now, my name is Reptile Riff, and I love to share my enthusiasm and my energy about how much I love wildlife and how we should conserve the environment that they live in. Because whether you realize it or not, you're living in the environment too, just from inside your house. Now, I want to get you closer and more intimate with these animals than people will really ever get. And I know about their behavior, and I understand how to take care of them in captivity and how to find them in the wild. And so I'm gonna make videos about both, where you can enjoy them with me and you can share this passion for wildlife. Now, I want you to share not just this video, but the facts you get to learn and the cool photos you'll get to see through our footage. So thank you for going on this adventure with me. Let's see what we find today. Hey guys, now today we're going to be actually working with my Pac-Man frogs. These guys are actually from South America, all over South America. They're these cute green frogs and they have like some vibrant striping, little patterns. I'm going to show you right now. Now today we're going to actually clean him out and show you how to handle them. Now these guys do have a jawbone that has teeth shaped bones formed in the jawbone. So when they bite, they're not letting go and their teeth will not break off and it's like putting your finger in a rat trap it, it's very painful they they're like a little pit bull they're not gonna let go once they latched on now they're not mean necessarily they're just very defensive and they're usually very hungry because they're so fat we're taking out all his furniture then we're gonna replace his bedding now it's important to make sure you don't keep him too wet because otherwise fungus could grow on their skin. And frogs actually breathe through the skin on their back and they drink through the skin on their belly. They're like a sponge. So if the environment's polluted, they're not gonna be able to have any babies. They're gonna get sick very easily. And any kind of fungal infections, they grow on the skin very quickly. So you gotta be very careful about those things. You see, he's like a leaf. They're so beautiful and green. See, I'm being very careful not to move too fast next to his head because he will strike to eat. Now, if your Pac-Man frog has not pooped in a little while, what we like to do is fill a bucket with water and soak him. And so while I'm in the middle of changing everything in his enclosure, this is the perfect opportunity. So. I'm gonna go fill up a bucket with water. I'll be right back and we're gonna put him in the water so you can swim around and get the juices flowing. Now what we're gonna do is gently scoop him up from underneath and then plop him in this water bucket. Now these frogs are not the best swimmers so you don't wanna put them in too much water where they can't stretch out their toes. Let's see what I'm talking about in a second and keep their head above water. Because remember, a frog, when they're an adult, they do not have gills. They have to be able to breathe from their nostrils and from some uh, of the skin on their back. It's just important you don't accidentally drown them. Because as obese as these frogs are, they are not. They don't make the best swimmers. So you see how I just kind of like cradled him from underneath? If you try to grab him from the front, they will bite your finger. You wanna always move slow so the animal doesn't jump out of your hands. Now the temperature difference with the water, this water's a little bit cool. So you don't wanna shock their system, so you slowly kinda, just takes a minute. There you go. If he puts himself in there, that's totally fine. There you go, buddy. Okay. So you see him shedding a slime coat? He develops a coat of slime and that keeps him moist when it gets a little bit too dry. And it's been pretty cool outside for the last few days, even though we do live in Florida and this weather usually supports 
his healthy natural habitat. So we're gonna let him soak in there while we're cleaning his cage. Muscles moving so that way it'll work some muscles, it'll keep them hydrated, and then it'll also loosen up their booty so that way they can get any hard poops out. So that's actually a very good thing. All right, everybody. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get rid of all this junk, this old dirt. It's probably got a little bit of, you know, poop, pee, fungus from being outside, all that stuff and being wet. So it's important that you change this every so often so that way he's not soaking in his own juices, right? Now, what we do here, since this is an outdoor box, you can uh, see that we've drilled holes in the plastic. So that way, it drains if it gets filled with too much water. Because if they're sitting in water for too long, their back will grow a fungus, like I kept talking about. Now, the males don't get as big as females because they're not a territorial species. So because of that, the males only get about four inches wide. Thank you. Males only get about four inches wide and the females get twice the size, eight inches wide. And so when the females are getting mated, they're also bigger, so that helps the males not accidentally drown the female because they'll mate on top of them in shallow water. Now, where they live, we're trying to recreate that. And that's in like moldy, uh, damp leaf litter on the forest floor, on the jungle floor, right? So that's, you know, we're gonna try to have dirt, a little leaves. You wanna make sure that you don't put anything in the enclosure they could accidentally ingest made of plastic. Pac-Man frogs have a huge mouth. It's actually why they're called the Pac-Man frog, because they're like that uh, arcade character, Pac-Man, the yellow guy with the huge mouth. And so uh, they, with their big mouth, will eat baby birds, uh, even other frogs, insects, things of that nature. No pun intended, right? So I'm gonna finish cleaning out this dirt. I'm gonna rinse it out, and we're gonna fill it up with some fresh dirt, and then put some uh, furniture and things like that in there. All right, guys, here we go. This is the big re-entry for the Pac-Man frog. Now, he kind of looks like he's poisonous or toxic because of his brilliant colors. But he's not dangerous like that. So when I'm holding him, he puffs up really big in case I'm a predator that wants to eat him. So that way he won't fit so easily down my throat. Now their texture is quite bumpy and slimy, just like you would expect. That's why you always wanna make sure your hands are rinsed off with water before you ever touch them. Because the, uh, the texture and the oil from your own hands could actually hurt, their, hurt or damage your skin. So my hands were just rinsed. Now their colors underneath are quite yellow and quite beautiful. Now these are kind of warning colors for predators as well, such as birds, things like that. That the animal might be toxic, but they're not at all. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and let them go. All right guys, now that me and my froggy friend are done moving into his new place, we're gonna go ahead and hop out of here. Hey guys, thanks for joining us in that crazy wildlife adventure. Now we love teaching everybody all about these animals out here in the wild and even in captivity. This is my buddy here, Cannoli. He's an American alligator. And we both wanted just to say thank you so much for watching and we'll see you later, alligator. <laughs>